Ever wonder what happens when you bake cookies to extreme heat? That's what we're going to do today by carbonizing these cookies. So we've got some Nutter Butters, some soft batch cookies, frosted lemon cookies, ginger snaps, and animal crackers. We're going to run those through the carbonizer today and we're going to look and see how each one responds to being in a high heat environment with low oxygen. Cookies are mostly sugar, flour, and flavoring, making them the perfect candidates for carbonization experiments. So here we have the animal crackers, and they're pretty plain. They don't have a lot of sugar or frosting or anything on them, and they're pretty solid. It'll be interesting to see how these carbonize. Uh, my guess is they're, gonna, uh, they're not going to shrink much, and uh, we'll see how much of this detail that they're going to maintain. That's this, a seal, a monkey, and then looks like a, a tiger. Now the ginger snaps are pretty similar. They're pretty dense cookies. There's a little bit of sugar on the outside. Uh, that'll likely caramelize and then just uh, burn off completely, that, that top layer of sugar. Um, and then they'll stay pretty firm. Over here with the uh, Nutter Butters, they've got this nice hard cookie on the outside, but then they've got that peanut butter in the middle. And when we carbonize fats, uh, generally what happens is it'll, it'll basically melt away and then off gas completely. So we'll see if we have any peanut butter left um, and we'll also see if we can keep the detail on the Nutter Butters. For the soft batch, they're pretty moist cookies. Uh, they also have the fat from the um, chocolate chips in them. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. Um, I'm thinking it's mostly going to melt away and we're not going to be able to tell that it's uh, a soft batch. Now. These are going to be pretty interesting, the frosted lemon cookies. They've got a fairly firm cookie, though I could break this e easily, but then they've got this moist frosting that's on the top. So we'll see how it's going to carbonize. You know, will the cookie remain and the frosting go away? Will the frosting just turn into like a shiny goo? What do you guys think? Put in the comments what you guys think is going to happen. Also tell me what's your favorite cookie. All right, well, here we go. We're going to get these things running. Now, you may be wondering, why don't these cookies just burn and turn to ash? Well, the key is we're going to heat them in a low oxygen environment. So they're not going to ignite and they're not going to create ash. What's going to happen is anything that's volatile is just going to off gas the sugar, the um, flavorings and things like that. And then we're going to be left with the carbon that makes up the, the uh, flour and other components. All right, we got the retort in there. And then what we'll do is we'll add some wood around the outside, get a fire going, get this burning really good, put the chimney on, and then uh, let it run for several hours and we'll check it out tomorrow. All right, there we go. Well, it's time for the reveal. It's the next morning, and we're going to open up the retort and see how these cookies were transformed. Come check them out. They have a very interesting smell. They all shrunk and they all maintain their shape except for these. Look how much they shrunk. So we got some interesting results. I kind of expected these frosted cookies to shrink as much as they did. I mean, look at the size of that one compared to how it was originally. These had a lot of moisture in them. Um, and so I expected them to shrink some. I am surprised about the ginger snaps, how much they shrank considering they had very little moisture in it. So it was probably uh, the sugar that was in it that ended up just off gassing and shrinking it down to this size. The animal crackers are about the same, they're a little bit smaller, but they maintained all their detail. You can still see that that is a, a gorilla or a monkey and that was the tiger. And then this, this one's hard to see, but that was the seal. And then for the uh, Nutter Butters, they just shrank a little bit. Um, and we'll look at those in more detail in a second. 
and these were the soft batch and I expected them to shrink quite a bit and it looks like they did. So all of these are very, very light. So let's look at these cookies in a little bit more detail. This is the Nutter Butter and it maintained its shape. It kept the lines that were on the outside of the cookie. You can kind of see a little bit of the peanut butter left. Well, let's break it open and check it out. It's completely carbonized through. So all that's left, well, the vast majority of what's left is carbon, probably around 60 to 70% carbon. All the sugars and flavoring uh, basically off-gassed and then the flour, what was left of it, carbonized. Let's see if I can twist it open. Nope, it is solid. All right, let's check out the animal crackers. Here's one of the animal crackers and it's just gonna break really easily and you'll see it's completely carbonized through and porous. So this is our little gorilla animal cracker. Very lightweight, very tough, and it carbonized completely through. And it maintained that detail because there was very little moisture in the cookie. So this is the ginger snap, it's very lightweight. And broken down into carbon. And you can see that it carbonized completely through. Can't see any of the original cookie in the middle. Next up is the soft batch. So you can kind of see there was a, looks like there was a um, chocolate chip right there and maybe there. It's very lightweight and hard. Completely carbonized through. Oh, and you can see this is where one of the chips was. Yeah, there's a little hole where the chip was. So the chocolate chip looks like it melted and then off gas completely and left the, uh, the cookie. Let's look at the uh, frosted lemon cookies. So all the frosting that was on the top, you can see it, it likely caramelized and then basically vaporized and all the frosting's gone and then the whole thing has shrunk considerably and it's very lightweight. And carbonized completely through. So that's what happens when you carbonize cookies. Let's see how they taste. <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> Woo. Just like mama used to make. That was a fun experiment, but we want to know what you guys want us to carbonize next. Put it in the comments and use the hashtag carbonize this and we'll see you next time.